My lab studies mechanisms by which genes are turned on and off using these chemical tags that are attached to various proteins. And the chemical tag we're particularly interested in is ubiquitin, which is actually a small protein in and of itself. And also we study other small chemical tags. These are attached to the histone proteins that package our genome into a complex called chromatin and that attachment and removal of these modifications plays a central role in regulating how genes are turned on and off. And we study that at a very mechanistic level. And so a very important tool that we use is cryo-electron microscopy. Cryo-EM has really revolutionized structural biology because it's provided us with a new way to get structures of these we call them macromolecular machines, but they're absolutely tiny. You know, by let's say an atom's basis, it's large, but they're very, very small. And so this gives us a new method by which we could determine structures of these biological molecules and then understand how they work. I'm incredibly excited. It's amazing. Every week I see new structures coming out or people are pushing the envelope and developing methods thanks to cryo-EM and, and cryo-electron tomography.